What's going on guys and your good friend Fury Pixel. Today I'm going to show you all the video production equipment do I use to film my videos. I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I set up this equipment and also the process I use to do my videos. So be ready for this because it's gonna be a really great video. Starting off with the cameras I use to shoot my videos and photographies. I have the Nikon D5200 and this is a really great camera with 24 megapixels. This camera has a DX sensor, 39 focus points and can record full HD. But something I really like of this camera is you can rotate the screen in 180 degrees which is a really great function and this is the reason why I use this camera when I shoot myself on the videos. I record my videos alone so the screen of this camera is 3 inch so it's more than enough to see myself even the camera is a little far from me. Also have 100 to 6400 range of ISO which allow me to shoot video or take photographs in a place with low light. My second camera and my favorite is the Nikon D610 which have almost the same settings from the another camera but this camera is a FX camera that means have a full frame sensor and also the screen of this camera is a little more big with 3.2 inch even both cameras shoot full HD videos it's really easy to notice the difference between the DX format and the FX format definitely this FX sensor make of this camera a really great option these two cameras are Nikon, so I always set up in the same way no matter which camera is. And I normally shoot my videos in Full HD with 30 frames per second. And the reason of that is because unfortunately the Nikon D610 don't allow 60 frames per second. I like to set up the audio in manual and normally I set up the volume in level 7, trying to don't hit the level 12 which is already red color. But depends how far from me is the camera is the volume I will use in the microphone of the camera. I will talk a little more late about the microphone I use, but from now this is how I set up inside of the camera my microphone. The way I used to shoot the videos is using these guidelines, which help me a lot when I'm filming my videos or taking photographies. I also use the 39 focus points. I use this in manual. I like to have more control and freedom to focus whatever I want to shoot so in this way it's more easy to me capture exactly what I want the lenses I use the most and my favorite lenses starting with the 35 millimeters from Nikkor this Nikon lens is one of my favorites actually I use a lot to do medium shots or shoot uh, myself when I'm outdoor the Nikon 80 millimeters to 105 millimeters this is a zoom lens and also I'm using the Tamron 90mm macro lens this is a really great option in case you want to capture some tiny things and get more details for your videos and in case I want to use full frame lenses I'm really lucky to be sponsored by Tamron they have a lot of selection of lenses wide angle, zooms, macro lenses so in case I want to use any of their lenses it's too easy to me like just call them and they will provide to me they are a Japanese company and they are doing a really great job with their products. I'm going to give you a small tip, it's helping me a lot when I'm recording with multiple lenses. This is a small white cap here, come when you buy a new camera and this camera includes the lenses. This is the cap they give you with the lenses, but don't take to trust this cap because it will be really useful on the moment you are changing the lenses. It will save you a lot of time when you are changing the multiple lenses and the reason is because it's more easy to pop up and pop on this cap than roll on and roll off the normal caps which come with the lenses so it's a small tip but really useful tip and will save you a lot of time in the moment you are using multiple lenses when you are shooting videos the cameras I use with my quadcopter when I'm racing is the SJ Cam 4000 and the SJ Cam 5000 Plus both of the cameras record in full HD with 60 frames per second and the only difference is the sensor which is more big in the SJ Cam 5000 Plus and also the 5000 Plus come with the connectivity on your cell phone that means you can control all the settings inside of your cell phone and actually you can see inside of your cell phone when you're recording video and I really enjoy to use them when I'm flying and racing with my quadcopters I'm using the Shure BP83 shotgun microphone which works with my two DLSR cameras this microphone is the one I use when I'm recording my intros, my video endings and when I'm recording outdoor. 
This is a directional supercartioid microphone, which means we capture a better audio and with better fidelity than another one. Something I really like of this microphone is really easy and accessible to control. It's so easy like turn on and turn off with a button and has three gain positions to compensate the audio depends of the environment you are recording. You can choose between less than 10 decibels, neutral or 20 decibels. But normally I set up this inside of the camera so I don't care much about that. And the way to connect the microphone with your camera is so simple like just plug in the cable to the microphone jack in your camera and it's ready to record. And overall this is a great microphone that have a dope design. The next microphone is my main microphone and don't need presentation. This is the Razer Siren microphone. And what more I can say that you don't know my friends. I fell in love with this microphone in the first moment I saw it for his beautiful design. And after testing, I say to myself, this is the microphone I want to use in all my videos. The microphone has four recording patterns, which are omnidirectional, bidirectional, stereo, and cardioid which is the one I'm using right now. The microphone is really powerful, so normally I set up it with a half of the volume and I place it 10 centimeters away from me. And like I say before, my friends, I really love the design of this microphone. The logo looks amazing with the LEDs and definitely this is the greatest microphone I ever use. My headphones I'm using for my videos is the Kraken Chroma 7.1. This is an amazing headphones. I really like because you can set up the color of the LEDs in the logo. Uh, normally I don't like to use speakers when I'm recording my videos. And with the fidelity of these headphones it's more than enough to hear so clear and with a high definition the audio when I'm recording all my videos. So these headphones is my option and I'm really happy with them. This is the Aperture Amaran Halo Ring Flash and if it looks so small lighting, it's really powerful and useful. The reason is because you can use for different purposes like a flashlight or continuous lighting for video. Something I really like is you can set up the intensity of these lights and also you can decide if you want just one side of the halo. These lights are really easy to use and give you a lot of ways to set up them depending what you want to do. You can position these flashlights in two ways. One is directly to your lens using one of the eight lenses mounts who's come in the package. And the second way is position it directly to the power supply like a normal flashlight. Like I said before, you can set up and use this light for different purposes. And normally I use it when I'm recording some videos to give a special effects to my product. Moving the lights around of them and depending on how much intensity I want, that is how I will set up the lights. And we give me this cool effect depending on how far I am from the product and the intensity and how much lighting, if I'm using complete the halo or just half of the halo, is the kind of effect you will get in the end. The light I use to illuminate myself and my products are the Nangan CN1200CH continuous light for professional video. These lights have two different kind of lighting, one is hot and white light and it's really easy to set up by moving the knob which is in the back of the lights. And in case you want, you can use the two lights at the same time or use them by separate. I'm using a standard K-Stone base for stand these lights. These lights have two knobs, one in the bottom and one in the side. The ones you can use to move the lights to the left and right, top and bottom. And the way I use these lights is a little far from me and looking from the top to bottom. This to don't get too much reflection on my glasses when I'm recording the video. These lights also come with four extra filters like UV, natural light and two different kinds of soft light. And it's really easy to change them by sliding from one of the sides of the lights. From now I just have one of these lights but I hope in future can get two more of these lights to give a better illumination when I'm doing my product reviews. The trapper I'm using for my camera is a Benro. I don't remember exactly the model but I already have three years with him. Probably I will change it in the future but now it's enough to hold my cameras and my new toys which is the next stuff I will present to you starting with the slider, the Skyer LX360 slider. And this is one of my favorite new toys and is the one who will help me to get a great and smooth movement in the moment I'm recording videos. 
This slider is only 32 centimeters and it's really easy to control the smooth of this one by just moving the knob which is in one of the sides of the slider. The slider is only 32 centimeters of large and is one kilogram of weight, making of this one really easy to carry to any place. I'm using the video head S2 from Benro. This is a really professional video head, can stand six kilograms, which is great for those who have heavy cameras. This video head is really easy to set up. Like always, I choose the most coolest and easy stuff to set up. The way to mount the video head on the slider is with this screw, which is here. And even you don't have too much experience to use the video head, I think you will catch very fast the idea. And like I said, this is the first video I use this uh, base with the slider and the video head but I think I catch really fast how to use it and I will show you some of the examples of how I experiment when I was uh, learning for first time. On the first example the only thing I'm doing is moving close and far the camera using the slider. In the beginning I was shaking a little but like I said before if you practice a little bit uh, you will get this kind of result. The second example I put in horizontal, the slider, and the only thing I did is move the video head to the right side. Like I said before, I will explain a little bit about the process I do. Uh, after capture the video and take some photos, the first thing I do is go to Lightroom to edit all the photos, and after that I will go to, to Premiere Pro, which is the program I use to edit my videos. The first thing I will do is cut my videos, after that do color correction, add the audio, after that add the music. I will check the video at least two or three times to check all the audio and video is correct. Okay guys, just forget you saw that. <laughs> the side of this is normally I see my face doing like 10 or 15 different kind of faces, uh, funny faces normally, but okay, this is something normal. But continue with this. After that, I will render the video, go to Photoshop, edit my cover, and after I done with, with my cover, it's just go to YouTube, export the video, add the tags, add the description, and it's done. Before I finish with this video, I want to invite everyone to go to my official website, furypixel.com. There you can find with more detail about myself. The only thing you need to do is go to the bottom, gaming, and gear. And there you will find all the setups I use for my streaming, for my gaming, for my video production videos and also for my FPV quadcopter. So now you know, go to furypixel.com in case you want to get more details about my setup. And that was the video for today my friends, I hope you enjoyed it as well like me. Remember like always I will leave down below in the description all the links of the equipment I've been using in case you want to get anything. If you like the video don't forget to support me giving click in the happy hand, share and subscribe that will help me a lot and you won't miss any of my future content. And if you have any questions let me know on the comments, I will be happy to answer you. And your good friend Fury Pixel, see you next time.